scientific instrumentation is crucial to good science and the advancement of research. The University of Melbourne has invested in new technologies to help take us to the next level of discovery. And to do this, the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering is pushing the limits of view and resolution in the next generation of microscopes. Up until um, in the last couple of years, there's been a, basically a physical limit as to how small we could see. So the first instrument that we have is called a structured illumination microscope, or a SIM. And this SIM uh, microscope allows us to look at cells live in real time and be able to um, measure these processes dynamically. We also have a new storm microscope, which is a localization instrument. And so it's not quite as fast as the SIM microscope, so we're looking at taking sort of 10, 15 minutes per image, but it gives us 10 times the resolution of any other uh, light microscope technique. So we get down to almost the scale of imaging individual proteins rather than much larger structures. Professor Frank Caruso and his team from the Nanostructured Interfaces and Materials Science Group are leading this charge. Our research is focusing on engineering particles with nanoscale features, very small features, that enable these particles to interact with biological uh, systems, for example, biological cells, as a result of the properties that we have engineered into them. Nanotechnology is delving deep into the structure of materials and the tiniest of particles. The interesting thing about um, uh, the new nanomaterials that have been made all around the world is that you can uh, do completely new things with uh, existing drugs based on packaging them in a smart way. So, for example, drugs which might have very bad side effects or a drug which is degraded too quickly to be actually useful, potentially the nanotechnology enables you to improve these aspects of the drugs. If we can better understand how the cells and the body actually process materials, we can then go back and design the next generation of drugs so they're much smarter and work better. The challenges are following the interaction of these small particles in biological cells um, and understanding how they become internalised and how they are processed by cells. For example, we can encapsulate materials inside these particles, therapeutic agents, and we can guide their release using the biological machinery that is inherent in cells. The facility gives researchers access to a range of complementary imaging techniques that allows researchers to go from super high resolution 3D imaging to high throughput and live cell imaging. It offers researchers a head start. The next advance is only in our imagination. The super high resolution microscopes are a valuable addition to the other suite of instruments that we have and they allow us to visualise um, small particles in a way that we have not been able to in the past.